Hey guys and welcome to another video. Many of you have issues playing Warzone, the latest Call of Duty Battle Royale, because the game keeps constantly crashing down to the desktop. I also had this issue on a slightly older laptop. While searching for a solution, I already tried modifying page file size, deleting the shader cache folders, reinstalling the game or scanning the game files. None of these solutions worked until I found this simple solution which I'm going to share with you. Don't forget to share this solution with your friends and also a like and a subscribe would be highly appreciated. Unfortunately, this video is only addressed to those of you that are using NVIDIA graphic cards. For AMD, you can still watch this because this might offer some, some interesting clues for you. But unfortunately, I don't have an AMD computer, so I can't double check this for you. Let's get on with it. The first thing you need to do is update your video drivers. So open up your browser and go to the NVIDIA.com in the downloads section. It should automatically figure out your GPU, the GPU that you have installed on your computer. If it does, just click on search. Otherwise, you have to manually select the GPU that you have on your PC. So click on search, then click on download, download the driver and install it. This is it for the first part of the video. I will assume that you already have the latest drivers installed. So the second part is we will tweak some NVIDIA settings that will allow you to run the game. So what you need to do is right click on the desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel. You go to the manage 3D settings. Here you will need to go to program settings. In this list you should be able to find Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. If it's not, you just simply click on add and then you have to look for it in this list over here. Once it's selected, you need to set up a few things. So. First of all, here, if it's not already NVIDIA GPU, you have to select your high performance NVIDIA processor. The first option is anisotropic filtering. By default, it's set to application control. What you need to do is click on it and change it to two times. The next option we are tweaking is called anti-aliasing mode. You have to click on it and override any application settings. Move further down. Just below, you will see anti-aliasing setting two times. You have to click on it and put it on four times. Move down again. Next, moving to the transparency, just click on it and put multi-sample. Further down again. One option which I always set to most of my games is prefer maximum performance here. It will really boost your, your GPU performance move over shader cache needs to be set on off texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization has to be set on off move further texture filtering if it's not already then set it to clamp the texture filtering quality i always set it to performance so it's boosting up my performance Texture filtering, trilinear optimization has to be set on on. Move further down. Vertical sync, don't let 3D application settings, just put it on off. Apply all of the options I have set here. If at any time you want to move back to your previous settings, because this doesn't work for you, you always have the restore button. Hopefully Activision will release a patch to address these issues so that we don't have to, to set these uh, options here. Otherwise, just move over to your game, launch it, and I'm pretty sure this will fix your, your issues. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and also share it with your friends, because many, many out there still have this issue, and I think it would be a big help for them as well. Have fun and see you on the battlefield.